Open the iSolar Cloud app on your phone and log in to your account. If you haven't got an account yet, you need to create one first. Click on the plus to add a new plant. Choose residential as plant type and the PV as inverter type. Scan the QR code on the Ynet module and click confirm to add the Ynet module to the new plant. Select WLAN to connect the inverter to iSolar Cloud. We will start with the commissioning via WLAN and show you the process with Ethernet later. Connect your mobile device to the local network. You can proceed when connected successfully. Click the button on the Ynet module once to start the Easy Connect mode of the Ynet. Check if the Ynet module is blinking as indicated on the screen in iSolar Cloud. If so, click Next. Enter the password for the local network and click Next. Wait to be connected. This may take some seconds and then click on Next. The processing may take some time. Choose the country of the installation. Based on your chosen country, the other parameters will load. The feed-in setting in the commissioning process is shown only for selected countries. Generally, for most of the countries, you have to select the country and the connection low voltage or high voltage. The device address needs to be a value between 1 and 247. Click Next to finalize the configuration. The inverter has been configured successfully. Click Next to proceed. Click Next to add the inverter to the plant. iSolar Cloud will use your phone's location to identify the plant's location. Type in the plant's name. Check the other details and change them in case something is not correct. Click Next to proceed. Configure the feed-in tariff and the consumption tariff if there is one. Click Next. Enter the end user's email address. He or she will receive an email to confirm the installation and access the plant. The customer will be able to share a viewing access of the plant with other people. Click Next. That's it. You're done. Before going back to the dashboard, you can have a look on the live data section. Live data is activated when the stopwatch icon is marked green. Click on the device. In the upper right corner, you can deactivate live data if wanted. Click on AC curve to jump into the graphic overview. Click back to return to the overview once more. From here, you can jump into your dashboard where you'll find all relevant data about your plant. That's it. The commissioning of the three phase has successfully been done. You can also do the commissioning via Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. Scan the QR code on the Ynet module and click Confirm. Choose Ethernet. Activate the hotspot of the Ynet module by pressing the button on the Ynet three times. Click Next. Open the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and select the Wi-Fi hotspot created by the Ynet. The name of the hotspot always starts with SG. Go back to the iSolar Cloud app and click Next to continue. The processing and the initial protection parameter setting works the same way as with the commissioning via WLAN. After configuration, you have to reconnect your device to the internet. Disconnect your phone from the hotspot of the inverter and go back to the iSolar Cloud app. Click Next to proceed. All following steps will be the same as with the commissioning via WLAN.